Fam, sorry, we've been chopped. The words every contestant in the Yokosuka Naval Base's third annual chopped competition doesn't want to hear. Sailors from across Yokosuka came to the Jewel of the East Galley to cook their way to victory in the five-day competition. So this was a week-long competition. Uh, each contestant, there's a total of four, had to uh, compete in three different rounds, an appetizer, a uh, entree, and a dessert. They had 20 minutes for the appetizer, 30 minutes for entree, 30 minutes for dessert. Uh, each round had a uh, total of four different mystery ingredients. All right, the chefs uh, had to incorporate each ingredient into the dish in the allotted time. After each round, uh, someone has to get chopped, someone has to go home. So, uh, for example, uh, after four contestants start, right, after the appetizer round, one will get chopped, three will move on. After the entree round, one will get chopped, two will move on to the dessert round, obviously one has to win, so, and then they'll move on to the uh, championship round. So uh, the first four days, we had uh, four contestants each. Uh, there was a winner for each of these days, and then uh, those winners are competing today for the championship round. Can't really have a game plan for this. It just kind of just, you just got to go with it, depending on what's on the mystery box. Um, and skill, is, you have to use skill, but you have to be creative as well. Like I said, um, if you don't have, if you're not very creative, you're not going to know. You're going to just stand here and freeze. So that's pretty much how it was the first day. Normally we would uh, do an Iron Chef competition. Iron Chef normally consists of one secret ingredient. We wanted our CSs uh, on the waterfront to showcase their skills, normally not shown uh, on their ships and their daily meals. So this gives them an opportunity to uh, show their culinary arts skills. I became a CS because I actually enjoy cooking. I enjoy the uh, things. I enjoy plating something and having the people, you know, a smile on their face, you know, putting people, putting smiles on people's face. So I enjoy that. And um, when I go home, I have kids, I have a daughter. So it's just nothing better than cooking for my daughter. You know, seeing the smile on her face and watching her grow, it's just nothing, nothing beats that. So, and I can use that outside the world, not just in the Navy as well. So it's just an overall thing. It's a good job. Um, as far as CS is in the, the Navy, I think they would want to to do something different. There's, um, there's a set menu cycle that we have to follow. So we, it's, it's hard to gain some sort of creativity or some of ourselves to put it into the dishes when it's the same thing over and over. Here it's using what you know, just using it differently and applying it to, to better or just different ingredients. Um, actually, yeah, this, this events like this actually helps CSs strive and um, they, they get in touch with their actual um, talent that they have because working in a carrier or wherever you're, you're just doing general mess cooking and events like this actually brings out your talent like you guys have said and definitely helps bring morale for CSs up. So, really good. Returning competitors and new sailors will have the chance to vie for the title of CHOP Champion in next year's Culinary Showdown. Reporting from Yokosuka Naval Base, I'm Petty Officer Chase Hawley.